Hi, welcome to Moose's Workshop, also Starry Night Railways. Um, we're going to do an unboxing video. I've watched plenty of them before and they're a little bit addictive, so I thought I'd do one after the holidays, after the holidays of course. Um, I ended up uh, selling all my gaming stuff, so there won't be any more videos on gaming stuff. Because, like I said before, I've gone deaf, so it's kind of hard to game with people. So, sold all that stuff, and I'm starting on a model railway. Model railway. It's a HO scale. It's going to be in this room that I just got doing, doing in another video. Uh, it's 12 by 8. Um, pretty much got a plane in my head right here. We'll see how that entails as I get the bench work done later on. It's raining way too much right now in December and it's cold and it turns to ice at night. So that'll probably have to wait a couple weeks. Um, so let's start some unboxing and see what we got. First, of course, we got some Peco Track. Uh, I think that's how you say it. It's HO scale. It's flex track. It's nickel aluminum, and that's what I plan to use on my whole layout. When I was a kid, I had a very small layout, but I was always getting damaged and stuff like that, and it was brass and it oxidized. So, I'm not going to do that. Next thing, I got this fire station. I let my wife choose which fire station because her father used to be a fireman. Uh, after looking at six or seven things, I was at a little swap meet in Omaha for trains and found this in their picture. She's like, yes. Uh, you can change the doors out between this style and an older style. I'm going to put some lights on it and stuff. Decorate it up. It had a little tower here, but not putting that on. But, really cute model. I took my friend Denny to the uh, swap meet and it's like, oh, there's no Union Pacific caboose. Because I've never had a Union Pacific caboose. And he was nice enough and got me that. So thank you, Denny. Pretty cool. Also at that swap meet, I found uh, a Wathers four unit apartment building. It'll probably be the first. Um, building that I put together because learning curve, haven't done models in a while, that kind of stuff. I get a little shaky at times. So we'll do this one first because if I mess it up, oh well, I got it for 20 bucks. <laughs> so we'll do that one. Now these next two go together. In one corner, I'm going to be uh, actually that corner. There's going to be a little farm. So here's the farmhouse for that. Another water special. And the accompanying bar. Pretty cool. I got plenty of models keeping me busy for a while. My wife got me this Merchant's Row, Merchant's Row number one. Um, may get some of the other ones later, but I really like that. One of those is going to be a glass shop, and another one's going to be a barber, uh, another one a post office, and I don't know about the other ones yet. I'll leave that for later. Got some of the uh, Scenic Master lights. Try those out, see how they work before I buy any more. My wife also got me this from Menards, Piggly Wiggly. It lights up, the whole interior is detailed. It's a pretty cool little thing, probably do a little weathering to it. Um, just pretty awesome. Uh, the town is going to be like a town out in the middle of nowhere that's just now starting to uh, develop since the 1950s. You know, those kind of towns where they kind of fade out because of big box stores and stuff, but it's coming back. It's uh, the railway area is getting reused. So it's gonna be a uh, timeline around the 80s or 90s. Okay, I got some different types of uh, cement, plaster strut. 
I got Baller Expert, and I got Revel Professional. Don't know if I'm saying them right, because I can't hear. Now, next thing. Concrete elevator, because what railroad don't have one? Um, there's a ton here where I live, some abandoned, some not, so I'll kind of model it after one of those ones. Next, the granddaddy, and that's I'm sure going to take me quite a while. It'll be one of the last things I build, except for the foundation because I need to know the layout of it and how it's going to go on the bench work before I do any track work. Um, Freestall modern roundhouse. Ha ha ha! And freestall addition. Ha ha ha! Yay! So, have at least six stalls. If I get another kit, I'll probably add another bay or two, but maybe uh, use some extra walls and make a section look like it's abandoned or caught fire and destroyed or something. Next up, we have some tortoise switches. If I can get it open, that is. Ah, new hardware. Ain't it pretty? These would be for the turnouts. Uh, so I'm thinking about going with uh, electro frogs instead of isolated ones, but with these, with the uh, two switches built into them, I can uh, change uh, polarity as far as I know. We'll test that out. I'm not getting any, uh, can't afford any um, switches right now until I sell the last of my gaming stuff, which is pretty sad. Had it 20 years minimum. Lots of minis I used to paint. Um, the games I used to play uh, Star Wars miniatures, Star Wars battleships, uh, a little bit of DD, Doctor Who RPG, Mech Warrior. Played all those kind of things. It was pretty fun. Um, here's the template for mounting these switches. Really good to have. And there was something else, and I lost it. There it is. Now, something every railroader used to have. I actually had this when I was a wee lad, knee high to a grasshopper. But that railroad was on a old ping pong table and the attic of a garage was dusty and stuff got destroyed from other people or sold them. And, and this is to check your uh, track work and your axles on your trains and cars and all that kind of fun and fancy stuff. Most of you already know about this, but if you don't, I'll tell you more if you ask. And, uh, ah, I guess I so. Pick this up on the internet. Probably won't be using the track because it's brass, but Hogwarts Express. Ha ha ha. Because I've built a lot of Harry Potter stuff in the past. Uh, got it for 50 bucks. Used, of course, but it was nice. For 50 bucks, Bachman set, Chattanooga. Oh. It's nice to start off with because I can't really afford a $200 ACC engine right now. I'm going to 
I start the railroad off on just DC, but I am going to wire it so it can have DCC later on when I can afford to get a system. Uh, I've looked at Digitrax, I've looked at MRC, i looked at them all. Um, still deciding, but I think I'm going to narrow it down to MRC just because you don't need a computer hooked up to it to use the Wi-Fi option. And the reason why is because as I build robots and computers and all this stuff, I like something simple for a change. I work on with computers with other stuff. I'd like not to do it with this hobby. <laughs> so uh, thank you for tuning in. We have a Facebook page called Moose's Workshop. Look for that. Um, our website is moosesworkshop.com. Our YouTube channel is youtube.com backslash Moose's Workshop. Uh, see a pattern going here? Um, I'd like to thank you for tuning in. Uh, most of my videos don't have a lot of music. Sometimes they're a little quiet because I can't hear the music that I want to put up. So I got one or two pieces that my wife checked out. If anybody knows of any music that I can use, it sounds like an upbeat version of like the New Yankee Workshop music or upbeat but not crazy piano music that I can use this in the background, please send me a link or something. Um, preferably something I don't have to pay for that's uh, free to use. Um, I thank you for tuning in. We are going to continue on our other projects. We got um, the restoration of R2 and we're going to light him up, lighten him up a couple pounds next spring. Uh, just so he's not so heavy. Um, new, new stuff I thought of doing. Uh, work on the Daleks, on the sets, on the outdoor railroad as well. Um, we just got done finishing Caboose in an earlier video. Um, but please subscribe, comment, um, just chat. <laughs> Since I can't really talk to anybody, it's nice to chat with people. Makes life a lot easier. Um, so thank you for tuning in and we'll see you later. Bye.